Hi, my name is Rebecca Harding, and I'm a school-based mental health clinician at Lutheran Community Services. Uh, prior to the current public health crisis, Lutheran Community Services and mental health clinicians located in the elementary uh, schools in Newburgh, McMinnville, and Amity, as well as the middle schools in Newburgh, providing mental health counseling and skill building to students enrolled in services. Now that schools are closed, though, we want to make you aware of how even your children and youth can access mental health services especially at this time when isolation and fear around the coronavirus is having a significant impact on mental health. So if you or your child are experiencing changes in mood, worry, irritability, anger outbursts, sleeplessness, um, or no longer expressing enjoyment of previously enjoyed activities, those might be some signs that you or your child could benefit from mental health counseling. And while the Lutheran Community Services offices are closed to in-person appointments at this time, we have mental health clinicians meeting with families over video or phone. If your child was already seeing a mental health clinician at their school through LCS, or you're interested in services for the first time, you can simply call our office at 503-472-4020. Current clients will be connected by front desk staff to the, the clinician they were already seeing at their school. And if you're new to Lutheran Community Services, you can request an intake and mental health assessment and staff will walk you through that process. Um, we're here to serve and, and Chris from Family and Youth is going to tell you a little bit more about how to get connected to Yamhill County Family and Youth programs. Yeah, so uh, my name is um, Christian Farso. I'm the school-based lead for Yamhill County Family and Youth programs. Um, I want to tell you that the County uh, Family and Youth were still open for business, um, but obviously we've made a few adjustments, so I'd like to talk about that um, for a minute. Um, First, I'll take on crisis services. So if you or your child is experiencing a crisis, uh, we welcome you to walk in. They're still available. Uh, we have um, different resources for uh, keeping um, people healthy, you know, whether it's washing your hands or masks we have available at the front desk um, for your convenience. Um, we also want to say that um, we would like you to contact us prior to going to the hospital. We want to keep the hospitals open and clear for emergencies and keep people that um, are not sick away from the hospitals uh, so that you don't get sick. So please call us first if you or your child is in a crisis. Our number is 503-434-7462 and that's our daily crisis number. Um, and then we also have a 24-hour crisis number with Lines for Life and that is 1-844- 842-8200. And I do want to say that as far as all of the, all of our therapists that are in the schools, um, we are still providing therapy to all of our um, clients. So if your um, child was seeing a therapist at the school, um, you can reach out to, to us at 503-434-7462 uh, if you haven't heard from your provider already, or you can reach out to them um, yourself if you if you do know their number. Um, we are providing telehealth uh, therapy um, to our clients as well and if you're not open um, to us here at the county yet we can still do um, intakes whether it's telehealth or we could do an intake in person um, but we'll still take those precautions to keep um, people healthy. So with that, Rebecca, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, maybe what to look for, or maybe some tips, you know, that would help children during this time. Sure. Um, so some things that can help um, children as they navigate really scary incidents. Um, oftentimes when scary events happen, it's hard to put words to those events or what's happening inside, um, especially for kids. Um, so something that can help us spark discussions with our kids um, about what's going on in the world is by using social stories. And social stories are just really short, simple stories um, kind of describing, um, in this case, coronavirus um, and ways kids can protect themselves, protect their community, um, and how adults are helping them through doing things like closing schools. Um, so sometimes parents have a hard time having those discussions with kids. And by finding a social story to help you explain um, what's going on uh, can sometimes help calm some of those fears and give kids a sense of control in a, in a situation that feels um, very helpless. 
And I think Chris has a specific story that he'd like to share with you. Yeah, so we have uh, Yamhill County Family and Youth Program's Facebook account, and I'd like to direct you all there uh, because we are putting a number of helpful resources up there fairly regularly. One of the resources um, that we have there as far as social stories goes is a, a book um, that is by Ana Gomez and it is named The Oyster and the Butterfly. And it's read by, there's a little video on our Facebook and it's read by um, one of our therapists from Sheridan, Stephanie Teen. Um, she did a great job. And I think it's just a good resource for parents and children to maybe go on our Facebook and watch the video together. And that way you guys can talk about the content of the book and it can be helpful to you guys. Um, I do want to say that for me personally, I think that routine is a large piece of this and all of our routines have been um, messed with quite a bit. And so I just encourage parents, whether your kids are young or older adolescents, um, create some routine. And, and I think that that can be really helpful, you know, just to bring some sense of normalcy back to, to our lives in this current crisis. All right. Um, uh, we just want to send you a quick video saying that we're here for you. We're here to support you. You're not alone in this. Um, and uh, we are only a phone call away um, to provide some support. So please reach out if that's needed. Um, check out that Facebook page that Chris check, uh, Chris mentioned. It's got some really helpful tools. Um, yeah, thanks so much for listening. Thanks, guys. We hope you stay happy and healthy. Bye.